Now, over the years, I've made a bunch of videos showing people how to back up their data, but recently I've had a lot of people asking me, well, now that I have that data, how do I take it and put it on a new machine or a recently reinstalled Windows machine? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to back up all your personal data to a flash drive, and then we're going to take that flash drive and copy that data either to a new machine or a recently reinstalled version of Windows. Let's get into it. Hello again, everyone. If you're new to this channel, my name is Scott Merrill. I've been in IT for nearly 35 years. And what I do on this channel is Windows tips, tricks, reviews, troubleshooting, and more. On this channel, we cover the what, the why, and then the how. So if that's the kind of thing you're into, definitely check out my video library because I got a ton of content that you might be interested in. Additionally, one of the things that I love doing is helping people find the right computer for their budget. There's a link in the video description. If you fill that out, I will laser focus and find you exactly the machine you're looking for to meet your budget. It's 100% free. I'm happy to do it. Now, let's get your data backed up and transferred over. So the first thing we're going to need to do is figure out how much space we need for a flash drive. So we got to go look and see where all of our stuff is and then basically add it up. So you're going to click the manila folder down at the bottom of your screen and that's going to bring up your Windows File Explorer. In Windows File Explorer, you're going to click on this PC and then you'll see your C drive in the list of installed drives. You double click that drive and then you're going to go to the Users folder. And in this folder, you're going to see your folder that you log into every day. Now, if you have different user accounts, in other words, like if you have a, a you know, husband and wife use different accounts or family uses an account and the kids use a different one, each of these profiles needs to be backed up separately. But most people just have one profile. In this case, my profile here is called Scott Merrill. So I'm going to double click it. Now, your screen may look a little different than mine and I'll show you why here in just a second. Now, please forgive me, I'm filming this part on a different machine. That's why it looks a little different. But once you get into your users folder, you're going to see the typical stuff, desktop documents, downloads, favorites, music, maybe OneDrive, pictures, save games, and videos. Those are really the only important folders. That's where most people keep their stuff. If you keep stuff on the root of your C drive, you'll need to back that up as well. But I'm going to focus just on the stuff that's inside your profile. Now I'm going to show you an advanced feature that a lot of people don't realize is there. And there is a hidden folder called app data. That folder contains uh, settings for specific programs and things like that, that you can easily transfer over to the new machine, but it's hidden by default. Now you can go up to your uh, command line up here and type app data, A-P-P-D-A-T-A, -A -A, and then it will show you the three folders. These are hidden folders. It'll show you these three folders in here, but you won't be able to back them up unless you back these up specifically uh, individually. I'm going to show you how to make that folder visible so you can include it in your completed backup. So what you want to do is click on file and then click change folder and search options. And you're going to get this folder pop up here. And what you want to do is click on the view tab and in the middle there, select under hidden files and folders, select show hidden files, folders, and drives, and then click apply and then click. Okay. And now you'll see that you have the app data folder there. And now we can include that in the backup. Now that we have that app data folder, you can select that or you can just choose to uh, leave it alone. But when you reinstall your programs, it will create those new profile settings anyway. So I usually go ahead and copy that over anyway, just because uh, it makes it a little easier. But for the most part, most people don't need it. But just know that it's there if you want to. So what I'm going to do now is I have to figure out how much space does all this stuff take up on a flash drive. So I want to select all the folders there between app data. And again, that's optional, but all the way down to videos. And then once I have all of those selected, I'm going to right click on that group and click properties. And as you will see here, it's going to now total up all of those files. Now, in this case, it's just under 16 gigabytes. So I could probably get by with a 16 gigabyte drive. And now once I have that drive in hand, I know I have enough drive space to back up all of my stuff. If it's really close, like 15.8 gigabyte, you may want to go ahead and go up to the next size, 32 gigs or whatever. Uh, but if it's, you know, a gigabyte or less than the size of the flash drive, you'll be good to go. 
Now you'll see here that I have got my flash drive plugged in. It's a drive letter G right here. I just called it random. But one of the other things that you might consider doing, especially if you have a program like QuickBooks or something like that, uh, that uh, shares information on the desktop across multiple profiles, is you also wanna back up your public folder. Now, a lot of people don't need this, but it's never a bad idea to back it up. If you don't need it, it's no big deal. But when you go into your users folder here, and remember I told you underneath C, if you go to users and then your specific user folder, there is also a public folder. And just simply right click and then choose send to and then whatever the flash drive name. In this case, it's drive G. Now you'll see I have a public folder on that backup drive. Now I'm gonna back up my app data folder separately. Uh, just simply right click and send to that flash drive. I'm doing that because I want to kind of keep that separate from the rest of the backups because a lot of times there's just a bunch of junk that takes forever. You can do these folders one at a time or you can just take the entire group and select it by holding down the shift button or holding down control and clicking them individually and then you can right click on the entire bunch and choose send to and then the flash drive and that will back up all of those folders separately there's really no right way to do it you can back up all of them at once you can back up the individual folders either way the point is is you can just simply right click and then choose send to and then whatever that flash drive name is and it's going to copy all those files and now you just sit back and wait so i've got my new machine set up here as you can see uh I've got it plugged in and it's drive E. And as you can also see, there are all the folders that I have backed up that I copied from the other machine onto this one, including that app data folder. And again, 100% optional. You don't necessarily have to have it. I just always do it as a matter of habit. But again, the most important ones are the desktop, documents, downloads, favorites, music, OneDrive personal, pictures, uh, and searches and also as you can see here I've got my public folder and I'll show you how to grab this one this folder right here personal was just uh, a folder that was on the C drive and I copied it I'm going to restore this one to the new machine and also the public folder and I'm going to show you how to do that underneath this PC if you select the C drive you'll see a list of folders underneath C and of course your users folder as well now, in this case, the user's name is Anita. That will make sense. Now, if your name is John, it will be John or family or whatever you want to call it. But just so you understand, for the purpose of this video, when you see Anita, that means this is the new profile on the new machine. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take that app data folder and I'm going to drag it on top of the Anita folder. That's going to basically put all the files into that user's profile. And again, totally optional. And I'm just dragging each individual uh, folder that I have backed up from the flash drive onto the word Anita. And it's going to just copy those. And it, it may at some point ask you to uh, overwrite. It's usually just like a desktop thumbnail file or whatever. If it asks you to overwrite, uh, if it's a new profile, then you 100% can do that. If you're not sure, like in, see here in this case, it just says, hey, there's three files with the same name. Those are just system files, no big deal. Just take each of these folders, drag it and drop it on top of the new folder name, whatever your profile name is, and that's all you have to do. So remember I had that personal folder which was on the root of drive C. So I'm gonna take that personal folder and I'm going to drag it and drop it on top of local disk C. And now you'll see here it's correctly put in its right place. And the rest of the folders, I'm just going to put them again underneath, in this case, Anita or whatever profile name you have. And that's it. You just wait for the files to finish copying. And if you get any messages like this saying uh, you need uh, administrator permission for the public folder, just go ahead and tell it, yes, continue, and do this for all the current items. And if you look now, it's uh, copied over the desktop stuff, and you can see here, this is no longer a brand new profile. The stuff that was on the old desktop is now on the new one. And if you were to go into your library files, which are the documents and pictures and so on, you'll see that all that stuff has been put in the exact same place that it was in before. So now basically all you have to do is wait for everything to finish copying and you'll be done. So at this point, everything that was on the old machine is now on the new machine. And using a flash drive gives you an added bonus because now you have a backup that you just 
already have on the flash drive. So you, all your stuff is safely tucked away on the new computer or on the new Windows profile and you have that flash drive with your data on it. So you can safely stick it in a drawer and hopefully you won't need it. But if you do, you got your stuff backed up. I tried to make that as simple as possible. So if that was helpful for you, make sure you hit subscribe down below. And if you like these kind of quick and easy tips, I actually have a playlist called Five Minute Fridays. It's a new series I've done. I'll put that over here for you and you can check that out. Every Friday, I try to release a new video that shows you a quick tip or trick in five minutes or less. So I hope you have an incredible holiday season. As always, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.